Hello YouTube, this is Remington H. I just wanted to uh, show some changes I've made to my backyard hamstick set up here. I don't know how well this antenna resolves on the video. If you remember previously, or my previous video, I showed it with just a simple setup of about four 14-foot radials. So I decided to go to Lowe's and pick up some extra wire. And they had a sale or clearance on 18-gauge stranded lamp cable cord. 250 foot of two conductor lamp power cable. I didn't intend to get that thick type of cable, but because it was on clearance and it was like really, really cheap per foot and I got a total of 500 feet of, of wire, um, I decided to go that route. So here's what I've done. Let's see here. This is the mirror mount commonly used with like trucker CB antennas. I have a little angle lug there, screwed in like so, and going to a couple of strands of braided grounding strap into a grounding bar. And I just have the, uh, let's see what there's sort of, I just have it, all the radials connected to the grounding bar there. Uh, this wire, actually I'm glad it worked out that I got this particular wire. It has a very soft, supple PVC insulation and it's very relaxed. So it was very easy to string out straight from the antenna. I have 16 quarter wavelength tw for 20 meters radials. Sort of as dispersed as I can, can really get it. Uh, there's a wall right here. So I just have sort of one going to the wall and then going around. There, that should be okay, I think. And then I have the previous four uh, solid conductor, like 22 gauge or something, radials going out that way towards the fence, which is closer than the 17 and a half feet or so that the 20 meter wavelength radials require. So it's pretty well covered. Um, can't really see it there, but you can you can very well see it see it there. As best dispersed as I can do, it's kind of like a 180, 180 degree dispersal pattern of radials. Probably a little less, a little, a little more than that. Okay, so there it is. The SWR didn't change very much uh, as far as the, the frequency in which it, it's tuned. Although the SWR, SWR did increase. It was showing as low as about 1.3 to 1 with just four radials, and now I can get it down to about 1.5, 1.6 to 1. And I believe that's because there's less ground loss. So hopefully this has made the antenna more efficient. I have made a contact, which I'll show a little bit later in this video. Uh, he gave me a 5.7 report. He was in Florida. He said the band conditions haven't been that great today. So we'll see. Okay, I just did some trimming on the antenna, and it looks like 1.6 is about the lowest SWR, and it's somewhere between, maybe on the low side, 14.178 and 14.340, so that's probably okay. Vertical antennas don't naturally have a 50 ohm feed line impedance at resonance. So don't be fooled by thinking, oh, well, it's not resonant because it's not 1.0 to 1 or 1.1 to 1. It actually should be even lower than that. There is still some ground loss or just antenna loss in general here. It's like 14.294. Resistance is 50 ohms, 1.6 SWR, but the uh, reactance, the reactance is still high. So 
obviously there is loss in this antenna, but that's as good as we can do. Yeah, it sure is. I just set up a uh, mo uh, base station in my home with a uh, little ham stick with radials in my backyard in an antenna restricted community. So just wanted to have this opportunity to give it a try. Well, that's great. Yeah, it's, uh, I have a real advantage. I've got my home 58 where I have a ground mounted vertical. So much fun having the VA hospital uh, and the uh, radio station here with their, our beam that's sitting about 90 feet above the ground. And we have our amplifier in the equipment probably uh, over a thousand watts. So uh, I really like coming here offering right into that. Uh, it would be really uh, worth your while, worth your time. I know you have a, it sounds like you have a good station at your house. Uh, five five to five seven coming in here from your place right now. So uh, feel pretty decent, uh, cool guys over here at the VA hospital. Over. Okay, I'll definitely keep that in mind and check it out when I when I have an opportunity. I'll I'll keep a watch out for it. I really appreciate the uh, contact. Makes me feel good that everything's working fine. Hey, that was a little rough copy on that last go around, but... Uh... <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And I'll go ahead and let you continue, and I'll say 7-3, take care. This is KG5RJS. Oh, 73, right back to you. Uh, clearing with KG5RJS. This is W6VAH, calling QRZ.